Welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. It is story time. Okay. I just took a shower at Little America Travel Center and I just have a story for you. While I find my snacks, because I'm hungry. It was a long day, nine hours of driving. And I was really stoked to get to the Flagstaff Little America Travel Center because I had never been there before, but I heard it was really freaking dope. Like luxury showers with bathtubs that you could have like for an hour and a half type of dope. So I was like, sweet. I'll pay 15 bucks for a hot shower for an hour and a half. Of course I will. I'm not going to spend an hour and a half in there, but you know, it, it would be worth it judging by pictures I've seen and things I've heard. So I arrive and I'm exhausted, exhausted from my day. And, uh, So I go in. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. <laughs> so I go in and I'm like, okay, I want a shower. And he's like, okay, let me put you on the list. And I was like, there's a list? And I was like, okay, well, like, do you know how long it's going to take? And he was like, well, probably like 30 minutes. And I was like, I've been looking forward to the shower all day fine. I'm going to wait. <clears throat> I'm going to wait the 30 minutes because I'm gross and I need a shower. So, it, so then the guy behind me says, Hey, wait. And I turned around. He's like, he's like, he was a truck driver. Cause little America is best known for being a, a truck stop. And he was like, wait, I have points for that. So she can have a free shower. And I was like, I was like, Oh my gosh, thank you so much. And he, and the guy he was, he was kind of mean. The guy that was like uh, ringing me up, he was like, no, we can't do that. And the gentleman, like, he was so kind. He was like, why not? He was like, I, they're my points. I can do what I want with them. And I want to buy her the shower. And he was like, no, you can't do that. And, and, uh, he was like, I've gotten in trouble for letting people do that before. And so this kind gentleman who was trying to offer me a free shower got upset and irritated. And I was like, I was like, you know what? It's okay. Like, I really appreciate your kindness, but like, it is what it is. And I really need a shower, but thank you so much. You know, like good karma your way. And so then I paid for my shower and I went back outside because Winston was in the van. And I was like, I don't, you know, I don't want to leave Winston outside in the van forever, even though it was only like 78 and I had the fans going, you know, I don't want to leave them outside. So I went back in my van and I'm sitting there and I'm feeling defeated and I'm on the verge of tears. So I'm like, oh my God, now I have to wait 30 minutes to shower. I am so tired. I feel so gross. I need to eat like all these things. So I'm like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to go back in. I'm going to get a refund and I'm going to go somewhere else to shower because I know that nearby there's other showers. Um, so I went in and there was a woman at the counter instead. And I was like, hi, I just, I bought a shower, but I, I just wanted to see if I could get a refund because I was told I have to wait 30 minutes and my dog's in the van and I just, and she stopped me and she was like, she was like, well, sweetheart dogs are allowed inside. And I was like, they are. And, and she was like, yeah, of course dogs are always allowed. And I was like, even in the bathrooms. And she was like, yeah, honey. And I was like, nobody told me that so that changes everything I can definitely wait 30 minutes if Winston can come inside with me and this travel center you know it has like a restaurant it has like a lounge a gift shop a store it has like all this stuff it's so cool it has a mail room and I was like oh my god I can bring him inside so so I was like okay so do it like um how does it work do I you know because I've never been here before do they call my name because uh, I'm on the wait list and she was like what wait list and I was like, I don't know, the, the guy put me on a list. And and she looks at me and she she pulls like the list and she was like, no. And she handed me a key to the shower. And she was like, get your dog, go take your shower. 
And I was like, <sighs> okay, my luck changed. Like all of a sudden I felt so much better. So then I ran into my friend Max. <laughs> Max, if you're watching this, hi. Um, Max is uh, one of my like first quartzite friends. Um, he and I have um, been friends, yeah, since, well, really since my first like nomad season out in quartzite. But anyway, so I ran into him. So that made my day better. And then he kind of told me a little bit more like about the, the travel center. And um, so I went in and I took my shower and it was amazing. The bathrooms are fantastic. They had like granite countertops. There's like a, you know, a big jacuzzi tub if you want um, and a shower and Winston just got to hang out and I got to take my time and enjoy my shower and it was so good. It was so good. So after that, I ate something and I got Winston settled in the van and I'm feeling so much better. And I was, you know, it's like, I was so put off by that guy who wouldn't let that really kind man get a shower for me. I mean, especially at $15, like, and he has like all these free showers, he said, because he's a truck driver. And so it's just like really sad that that guy, like in customer service, wouldn't even let that man be kind to another human and so I was really put off but then that woman really changed it for me because she was so kind she was so understanding and it just it changed it for me so then when I brought Winston in everybody was you know everyone was smiling at me and like so and then I felt better just everything was good and then I decided I was like okay I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna grab me a six pack of beer so I get Winston settled in the van. I put away all my shower stuff after I had some some cheese and pickles. I kind of was, I kind of had the shakes because I got low blood sugar. I hadn't eaten like all day, so I went back in and I grabbed a six pack, and I was checking out, and it was that dude again that denied that man to purchase me a shower, and he apologized. He apologized to me. He said he was sorry. And, you know, I never got mad at him or, or anything like that. I was, I was so tired. I could have equally gotten upset, but I didn't. I was just like, it's fine. Like, I get it. It's totally cool. And he apologized to me. And so it ended up making my experience, like, in the end, really good. I got my shower. I didn't have to worry about Winston. I got snacks. I got beer. I'm parked next to Max right now in the parking lot. Like, it ended up working out really well. And I feel like it ended up working out really well because I just... Even though I went back to my van and I was feeling defeated, I just, I felt like I wasn't going to give up on the situation and I didn't and it all worked out. So I'm really happy and I'm ready to sleep. <laughs> so thank you for watching this um, story time, you know, just adventuring with Amanda. <laughs> Be sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.